Hi, Maggie here. Sorry for... I mean, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I am not my usual cheery self. The recent events in the world have really gotten to me. And this is not a political video. This is a video I'm making for myself because I feel that I need to remind myself how to take care of myself and saying it out loud, putting it in video form, editing the video is something that speaks to me. And if anyone else finds any self-help tips here, then that would be great. We have to keep ourselves strong in order to help others. I am usually really happy and positive and that is what I want this channel to be. I want the community here to be happy and positive. But I feel that it's important to show that everyone has bad days, everyone struggles. Even me. <laughs> uh, I'm a psychiatrist and sometimes that stops me from thinking that I'm not human because I'm a psychiatrist, my emotions are supposed to be okay, I shouldn't feel down. But no, this is... I want you to know that I'm just like you. I'm really worried right now. Um, I have had really bad anxiety in my life and currently I'm feeling unmotivated to do anything. I haven't slept much. Um, I spent the night scrolling and refreshing the news media pages, Twitter, Reddit. And right now I should be working, but I can't concentrate and all my work tasks seem pointless in comparison to what is going on out there. So yeah, this video is about self-care, what I should be doing right now instead of scrolling. I already did one thing and that is I took a shower Feeling the water on my skin and different temperatures help to give a mind a rest and I feel that the shower was refreshing. What about worrying? Well, I have a lot of things to worry about right now. But is it helping anyone? Not if the worrying is constant. So I have decided to give myself 30 to 60 minutes every day just to worry. I have decided to choose 7 p.m. and I will mark it down in my calendar. So whatever negative thoughts about the future pop into my head during the day, I can say to myself, hey Maggie, you have 7 p.m. to think about that. Now I'm sorry if the, the mic is picking up some wind, it's really windy out there. If you decide to choose a time for worrying, then I suggest don't keep it too close to your bedtime. Checking social media and news. Now, in this particular case, I feel that I want to be informed about what is happening. But then again, I know that staring at my phone will not help me or anyone else. So for now, I will decide to choose one source and check it every two to three hours. Which is actually quite a lot. I, I don't suggest you you check your social media that often. But as this current event is close to me, I feel I need to stay informed right now. Relationships. I will phone my friends, my family. I will talk to them. I will meet them if I can. I will hug them. I will let them know I love them. We are social animals and we do best in communities. I love my family. I miss them and I know that hearing their voices will make me happier. Going out for a walk. I like to concentrate on the soles of my feet when I am walking. It grounds me and helps my attention to get as far away as possible from my brain and all the thoughts. Also, it's quite cold and windy right now, so I feel that that feeling on my skin will also be good. Comfort food. Today will be the day of chocolate, hot cocoa, and maybe some fruit. But yeah, mostly sweet, sweet chocolate. In the long term, 
healthy foods and water are good for you, but I feel that comfort food is just as important. So yes, self-care. This is what I am trying to do today. Take it one day at a time and see how it goes. Right now I am making myself strong so I can do my best to be of help to others. Take care of yourselves.